Hi, I'm Jamie with Vapor's Corner. Um, so you've went out and bought yourself a kit. We have uh, our kits come in doubles as well as singles. Now the, the doubles a much better value because not only do you get one set of E6, but you get two. So while you're using one, you can have the other one charging. Not to mention that you have two atomizers, which typically the atomizers last about four to six weeks, depending on how you vape. And this will allow you to have basically uh, eight to 12 weeks worth of atomizers. Or share it, share it with a friend. Now the batteries, they have an LED. Whenever you push the button, it lights up. When the battery dies, it'll flash several times to let you know it's time to recharge. Now most of your components are located down below. The tip that you see here is actually just a display tip. Uh, it's to be thrown away, it's just a pretty. It has no foam in it. And so uh, the atomizer, which is this unit here, is what actually boils the juice. The batteries itself last about an hour of actual vape time. So if you sit there and breathe off the thing, it's going to last about an hour. If you treat it like a real cigarette, take your 8 to 10 poles, put it away for 30, 40 minutes, you can get 4 to 5 hours out of it. Now, underneath here is where you have the rest of your components. Pull your shelf up. You'll find your instruction manual here, which tells you everything you need to know to get started. We also have a tip sheet, little things we've picked up along the way to make things a little bit better. Um, and the warranty card. Uh, it has a 30-day warranty on the parts. And if you have any questions, you can always call us. But you don't have to send this warranty card in unless you actually have a problem. And then what you would do is fill out this information. You can call us to determine which component that you need to send back to us. And then send in the component with the warranty card and a copy of the receipt so that we know it's within the 30 days. And then when we receive it, uh, we'll have something back in the mail to you the same day. Now you have a cord. You have the wall charger. You have two tips, which don't have any juice in it. They're totally clean. And a small starter bottle of USA Mix, 24 milligram. Now, when the battery dies, like I had said, the, the LED flashes several times to let you know it's, it's time to recharge it. And whenever you plug this unit in to the wall, that LED right there will turn green. And then as you screw the battery into it, right there, just like that, just till it stops. If the e-cig battery needs to be charged, the LED will then go red. Now, it takes about an hour to recharge the batteries. The battery are lithium-ion batteries, so you can charge it anywhere throughout the usable time, uh, which means that at the end of the night, when you're ready to go to bed, the battery's not quite dead, you can still go ahead and screw it in and charge the battery. Now, the charger's designed not to overcharge the battery, so you don't have to worry about it damaging the battery if it got fully recharged uh, before you wake up. Now what we normally do is we'll screw the atomizer into the battery just like this, just till it stops. Hit the button, here it make the sizzle, which is a good thing. And then you'll take one of the tips out of the plastic. It has a little rubber cap, so if you decide that you want to refill these, uh, pre-fill them throughout the day, you can put caps on them to keep the juice from leaking out. Basically, the tip will hold anywhere from 11 to 15 drops. All depends on the consistency of the foam. Now, when you put the drops in, sometimes the foam's kind of thick and it takes a little while to work in. Now, what I normally do, because I'm kind of impatient, is I'll take either a paper clip or I'll take a uh, toothpick and I'll push the foam down. Create me a nice little spot, add juice to it, and then I'll pull the foam up and down to kind of work it down into the foam. This process takes a couple of minutes. And basically what we're looking for here is we're looking for the foam to be nice and juicy looking. Not necessarily puddled to where it looks like it's standing on top, just so it looks juicy.
Now you can overfill these, but I'd rather them be overfilled than underfilled. Because if the atomizer runs dry for too long, it can cause premature burnout of the atomizer. And so we want it to be nice and juicy like that. And then all you have to do is push it straight on. You don't have to twist it or anything like that. And quite honestly, we prefer that you don't twist it. Because if you do, there's a good chance that the foam will get wrapped up around the little cone, which is the wick that pulls the juice down into the atomizer for boiling. It creates kind of a mess. And so all you have to do is push and hold the button. And while you hold the button, take a drag half the speed of a normal cigarette. The slower the draw, the stronger the hit. There's no combustion that occurs. It's just simply boiling the juice. And so, you know, once you figure out the, the right draw speed, you'll be aces.